Hey guys, so today I am going to be building a computer. It's not for me if you're wondering, because <laughs> um, I've already got this machine over here. If I can move my camera. Yeah, I've already got that machine over there, but on Facebook, yes. Um, I'm making it for a neighbour who is upgrading from his iMac G5, so it's going to be quite an upgrade. Um, it's a Hackintosh, if you're wondering. Yes, uh, slightly cheaper than a new iMac, so, and plus they're not actually selling the new ones at the moment. Um, so I thought I would build one. It's got this fairly cheap at Novatech, if you're wondering where I got all the components and that from. Um, yes, yeah, so Hackintosh based on Tony Mac x86's uh, custom Mac Pro build. So it's just basically components I know, hopefully, fingers crossed, will work. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So I would thought I'd just go through some of the components I've got. So, first things first, our motherboard. It is a Gigabyte Z77X UD5H. So the new Ivy Bridge boards, um, ultra durable 4, SLI, USB 3, PCI 3, and uh, supports Intel Core. So we go. I didn't get. I know there's a TH uh, Thunderbolt version, but I decided not to go for that. But Nice uh, colourful box with Gigabyte anyway. So that's that there. Just a few of um, their built in proprietary stuff. Um, you can see the board there got a plethora of connections, uh, USB 3, electrostatic protection, all of this good stuff. Uh, so I'm looking forward to using that. So that's the basis, the machine. Put that over to the side. Then we have got a Ivy Bridge Intel Core i5. 3570K, so basically the same as the Intel Core i7 377K, so a 3770K, uh, basically without the extra hyper threading. So anyway, that is the processor. So anyway, that is the processor. Actually, it's just up there. Um, and I'm not going to be using the fan in this, so don't worry. <laughs> I know they are atrocious. Um, graphics card. GT640, not massive gaming uh, for the computer that, uh, the, sorry, the person that this computer's for. Um, so, just a basic card, better than the in inbuilt graphics. So, um, just a various, well, this, this will make sense in a minute. It's just basically the uh, conversion mount for the SSD, um, thermal paste, or comp thermal compound, crucial M4, that's what. Uh, this is used for only a 128 gig version, so that's plenty. Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte, basic drive. And basic LG DVD writer. Uh, Crucial Ballistics DDR3, 1600 megahertz RAM, eight gigs if you're wondering. Um, CPU cooler for the uh, processor, even. Yeah. And uh, I'll leave those. OCZ 650 watt modular power supply. Yes, it did make sure to go um, modular this time. Modular. Yeah. That's definitely the heaviest bit that I've built. Um, then here we've got the various peripherals, because obviously it's going from an iMac, so need stuff. Basic speakers, yeah, I know they're Log Logitech, but they do the job. Um, Logitech, their G300 mouse, and just uh, Novatech's own illuminated keyboard. So that's all there is for peripherals. And then of course we've got the case as well. So here is the case, uh, Cooler Master Slien um, Silencio 550. Um, mid-range case, does what I need, and it has got USB 3 support as well. So there we go, and it's silent, which is the main reason why I chose it. So anyway, those are the components, let's go on with it. Every time the stars come out You light me up 
You chase the clouds, I think about this Every time the stars come out 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 Every time the stars come out
Hi guys, so um, I've now fully built the computer, apologies for the probably decrease in video quality. Um, I'm actually recording from my iPhone now because my proper camera has run out of video recording space. So anyway, um, I have just done my UniBeast USB, so I think it's time to power up the machine and uh, see what happens. It's generally very quiet actually, I'm quite pleased with it, and it's fairly tidy inside as well. So hopefully, right, let's uh, tap F12. Right, so we can see there that's good that we've got all of our uh, devices come up. We've got the uh, hard drive, the M M4, oh no it's not, uh, yeah we, there we go, we have the M4 and there's my USB, so I'm going to boot from my USB. And we've got the UniBeast menu, so I'm going to go ahead and open up that. And we should hit the boot screen in a second, hopefully. There we go. It's not too slow, um, but I mean it's, it's faster than it is on uh, CD. So there we go. And now, hopefully, there we go, flipped in to full graphics acceleration, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click here, so we're going to use English. And uh, now let's bring up disk utility. You can see there we have got the M4 and uh, the one terabyte drive, so I'm going to use the M4 uh, to install the actual thing. Hang on, let's go focus it properly. And apologies because I'm not actually using a um, tripod with this, so I'm going to call this Mac HD. Mac HD. Um, partition, actually, yeah, we might might as well partition it. So, GUID. Call this Mac, Mac HD. There we go, 128 gigs, so let's apply. Formatted, um, and we may as well format this as well. I'm going to actually split this into call this data. I'm going to call this one backup. Okay. Right. Partitioning. Partition complete. Okay, so done that. Now I'm going to go agree. We want to install to Mac HD. Check customize. No, no options. Okay. Right, let's install. So I will come back when this is done. Should hopefully be fairly quick. See you in a bit. Hi guys, sorry for the lack of update there. Yes, I did get a proper system going. Uh, it did boot up very nice and quick. I had, I think, about 15 second boot up. Uh, which isn't bad on this machine, uh, and I did get a Geekbench score of around 11,000, which isn't too bad, uh, considering this is, in fact, a Core i5 machine. Um, so it doesn't have the extra eight threads, of, sorry, the extra four threads, obviously. Um, it's got eight gigs of RAM at uh, 1600 megahertz, I believe. Yep, I probably mentioned that earlier on, um, but that's pretty good for this. So anyway, it's a it's a pretty good system. Um, very very quiet. I might have mentioned that before as well. Um, but anyway, as you can see here, I have got a transfer going. Um, eight minutes. It's been going for about four hours now. Um, from a neighbour's old iMac G5 to the new Hackintosh. Yeah, it might be strange going from a nice, neat iMac to this, although it's a lot quieter um, and a lot more powerful. And um, just looks quite nice, actually, generally, as well. Nice and sleek. The DVD burner up there as well. So, um, generally already, I got a fully working system. Everything from sleep uh, to the Ethernet works. Um, it's detected all the disks, which is good. Um, very fast, and uh, I had full graphics acceleration right out of the box, which is rather nice. Um, so that is this almost done. Kind of wraps up the video in a way. 
um, because, well, that's the build of the computer. Um, and I'm quite proud of this machine, actually, is because it's one of the machines that I've had least trouble building um, from getting components to actually putting it together. Um, I haven't really run into any errors. I did have one uh, kernel panic under OS X um, when I think I selected the wrong options in MultiBeast, but that has since been fixed. Um, and yep, it's all working. So you can see my job here is nearly done. Um, I just need to wait for this to finish. But uh, that will wrap up the video for today anyway. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you like enjoyed the build and the time lapse and that. And I'll see you in some video soon. Anyway, thanks. Bye.